What's going on guys? Victor here from Dexter Outdoors. Now we got this beautiful Mahi Mahi, also known as a Dorado in some parts of the world, and also known as Dolphin in some parts of the world. We're going to be flaying it up with this Dexter 8 inch sport fishing knife. Now let's get started. So there are a ton of different ways to flay fish, a ton of different ways to flay Mahi Mahi, but I'd say the two main things you guys got to remember are Dolphin have head meat. So what I refer to is this area right here, a lot of fish, like some snapper, the head meat will kind of end right at the base of the head. But dolphin are a fish that has a lot of head meat that protrudes well into there. And the second thing, which you guys will see, is they have a very thick raised backbone, and I'll show you guys how to work around that. So what we're gonna do is, like with any fish, always start with the tip of my knife, and I generally work from the head to the tail. I'll find where the soft spot in the head ends, and we're just going to outline the very edge of our fish. So we're just going to go very superficially. And you guys see that these knives are extremely sharp. They glide through well. And that's what we're doing. And I'm really trying to make sure I'm as close to the fish's uh, skeleton or bone as possible when I do this. So we do that. Now, to separate that head meat, you guys can see hard here, soft here. So. I go to where the soft part ends. We're gonna go around, follow it, around this pectoral fin right here, down to the belly. Now, real important, do not cut too much into here because dolphin have kind of rancid and uh, very not pleasant guts. You don't wanna get too far into there. So now what we can do is just angle our knife slightly and just work down the length of the fillet making sure we have contact with bone at all times. And that's like the general message when you're flaying any fish is you just don't want to be going along soft flesh. You want your knife to constantly make contact with bone. So you guys saw we're pretty much all the way down to the backbone as my knife can't go in anymore. So now you guys will see that this head will separate this head meat So this is where we're at. Backbone there, top loin on a bigger fish. What I would recommend is actually to do it in two sections, but this is a smaller fish, so we're not gonna do that. Now I'm just gonna make a cut right here by the tail. So now what we're gonna do, dolphin have pin bones, which we're gonna have to break. The pin bones are right here by the head and they run on top of the backbone and by the rib cage. So this is the other thing I told you guys about when it comes to cleaning dolphin. Dolphin have a very pronounced backbone, a very raised backbone. So if you were to run your knife down the length of the fish like you would a snapper or something or a mackerel, you'd miss a lot of meat because there's meat underneath that backbone. So what we're going to do is take the tip of our knife, angle it down as we work along the backbone. That way we're not missing anything. Okay, so now that we have it angled down, now we can finish out our fillet. Just work down the length of the fish. There's the guts I'm talking about. You do not want to get in there. So as, as I get up there and approach it, I'm very careful and cautious with my knife. Now we try to glide over this rib cage rather than through it. There's the rib cage I'm talking about that is shielding all those guts. And there you go. And that's why you'll see a lot of people when they fillet a dolphin, they'll actually make the cut down here and they'll, they won't even go down here. They'll go like this and they'll stop right there because this is rib cage, guts, and then there's the rest of your filet. And you guys see this backbone right here. If I were to run my knife like that, there's a significant gap underneath it, which you would miss a ton of meat from. For me, what I like to do when I get to this side is I will do the same thing. I'll outline my fish. I'll flip the fish around and go from the head to the tail down here. 
Make sure your fish is nice and flat and try to get him close to the edge of the fillet table. Okay, and now what we can do is I can actually run my knife and go from the head down to the tail. Really want to make sure that I have direct contact with bone at all times and not just cutting through flesh aimlessly. And that's why it helps to have your dolphin, your fish at the edge of the fillet table. And I'm basically just going until I get to the center or the backbone of the fish. Okay, now we gotta do the same thing we did before. We're gonna go and get all that head meat, so find where the soft spot ends. Gonna go around the peck fin down to the belly. So this will all separate. I'm gonna be able to lift this up. We're gonna break through the pin bones. You guys can hear them, they really wanna keep that fillet glued to the fish. So we broke through the pin bones and now we're on the other side of the backbone, angle the tip of our knife down, we do the same thing we did on the other side so we're not missing the meat. We're on the other side of the backbone, we're going to go over the rib cage right here. And then there is our other fillet. Don't want to get through there. Definitely do not want to get through there. There's our filleted out dolphin, as you guys see. No meat left on the bones itself. And as my camera woman, Bricky, was saying, dolphin are one of the fastest growing fish in the ocean, and that is probably why they have so many guts. And generally, you find their stomachs full because these guys are voracious. Like a dolphin like this, could be a few months old. At two years, they can grow up to 50 pounds, which is absolutely insane. So we're actually gonna save this carcass for uh, crab trap bait. We got our two fillets. Now, you may have seen people skin it a different way than I did. A lot of people outline the fish and tear the skin off of the fish while the flesh is actually attached. You can go ahead and do that, but the only thing is there's a, a white filament. It's like a fibrous filament and it's not that appetizing to look at and a lot of people shy away from it because it kind of puts, it offsets the flavor of the fish. So now, whenever we go to skin a fish, we always start from the tail and working up towards the head. You gotta be really careful because dolphins have very thin skin and it's very easy to penetrate through it. So we're gonna start over here by the tail and I'm just gonna work up the length I should probably move this all the way to the edge of the fillet table. That way your knife can sit flat. If it's out here, you guys can see I can't get the angle flat and it's not good. Put it at the edge of the fillet table and you're going to be a winner. So we're just going to go down and I feel I trail with my left hand going up and I'll pull the skin back and I really try to make sure that I don't pierce through it. And sometimes it's even better to leave a very thin layer of meat, like I'll, I'm gonna show you guys, on the skin itself, rather than fixing your mistake later when you pierce through it. Like that. So you guys see that's a very thin, thin layer of meat that I left on the skin, which I'm willing to sacrifice anyway, because if you guys look, uh, dolphin have a very thick bloodline. So it doesn't protrude out very much from the bloodline, but it's thick. So I wasn't gonna save this anyway, so might as well get rid of it. And if you guys see that kind of white stuff in there, that's the filament I'm talking about. That is what would be left on your mahi filet if you had ripped the skin off rather than taking it off the way I just did. Okay, so we're gonna leave it on the side that we just left off on. This is the skin side of the fish, and the reason I do that is because now we're gonna trim it up so I'm actually bringing this dolphin over to my dad's house later. So I'm just going to cut it in half. And, you know, if you're going to eat dolphin fresh, this bloodline really shouldn't bother you. But I'm just going to remove it because I know my dad's going to take a couple of days to eat it. 
And this is what will make fish go rancid, get that fishy, oily flavor. This is the bloodline. And this is where the pin bones lie as well. So you guys see that? Look at the difference in the color of the meat between that, the bloodline, and the dolphin itself. And you see that kind of fibrous material that runs along the bloodline as well. It's not as good. I'm gonna save that. That is our tail section. And then if you look over here, this is the head section. This is that head meat that was in the dolphin. And if you feel here, these are the pin bones. Pin bones generally go from the head to the tail about halfway down the length of the fish. So we're gonna remove the bloodline. And when we remove the bloodline, it's also gonna remove, remove the pin bones. So just like that. And this is some really, or these are some really gorgeous fillets as well. Okay, so there, you guys can probably see, if I run my finger, these are the pin bones in the bloodline. If you have a pair of tweezers, you can certainly pull them out, but we catch plenty of dolphins, so it's not bad for us to waste a little meat. And we use it for crab trap bait anyway, nothing goes to waste. That is one half of the dolphin. You guys see you get a pretty good yield, very firm, tender fillets. I'm not gonna bore you guys and do the same thing on the other side, but it's the same process. So. You guys are interested in the knife that I use today. This is a Dexter SG132 and 8 sport fishing curved 8 inch knife. Very good all around versatile knife, especially when you get towards bigger fish. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys want to see more how to fillet videos, and we'll catch you in the next one.